Hello Pisces, it's my lady from my lady's way here and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of 1, I mean sorry, geez, 9-11 through 9-18-2017. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. All right. Um, make sure and check your sun, moon, rising signs, and let... Oh, I don't know what I said or didn't say, but uh, let's go, Pisces. <laughs> All right, what's going on in the love life of Pisces? What's going on in the love life of Pisces? 9, 11 through 9, 18, 2017. Pisces, 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 9, 11, 39, 18, 2017. I don't know. I'm having like a weird feeling in my neck. Like either I was being choked or like, you know how when you cry a whole lot and your neck start feeling weird, like strained or something. That's how my neck feel. All right. So there's something going on with somebody talking, you know, let's see if. These are talking to you or for you, but this is the overall theme. Everybody is talking. People are talking. All right, so it seems like they're talking about something that's, I feel like it's going fast, but I feel like it's not taking going too fast. Other people don't feel like it's going fast enough, okay? Mm. Okay, so it seems like, Somebody feel like, or you feel like somebody should leave somebody else or leave a situation. Could be job, could be a, a person, could be a, a neighborhood, but somebody feel like you just taking your sweet time, you know? Okay, um, it seems like you might be holding it up because of a person. Like you don't, you don't want to leave somebody. So maybe you holding up moving or something because of somebody, or you just holding up um, leaving somebody because you um, you love them. I mean, you really care about them. Okay. Okay. So it seemed like you may get begin. Somebody's getting ready to move. Seemed like somebody getting ready to move. Maybe with friends or family or whatever, but they taking a sweet time. Be, it seems like, yeah, because they, they don't want to be free from somebody that they care for. Maybe they moving. You could be moving jobs. You could be moving anything. But somebody's taking their time because they don't want to be separated from the person that they love, okay? Love or care about. Um... This to me seems like this person uh, is just not that great of a. Well, they a good person, but they just like I don't know, like maybe irritating or annoying or possibly just um, weird. It might be just a weird individual that you um, dealing with. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's all I see there. All right, let's go. One more card, and then we're going to go to the Cleo cards. I read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. All right, presents. So, I don't know. This is just making me feel like you feel like this person is a gift to you in itself. Maybe weird. Your friends may not like them too much or her them too much but you really care about this person and you don't want to leave them or you don't want them to leave okay uh oh so there's some secrets going on with an ex so basically this here is saying like whatever's going on with the ex it's not going to end up too well okay all right so oops cleo cards i read those straight out the book all right so I'll read these straight out of the book to ensure you get your full message. All right, what's going on? What's going on with the uh, 
Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's going on with the Pisces for the love reading? 9, 11 through 9, 18, 2017. Pisces, 9, 11 through 9, 18, 2017. Love reading. Pisces, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Pisces, Pisces. Mm. It seems like somebody feel like their life is complete like it is right now. I don't know what this change is, but somebody's not caring for it too much. All right, so to me, that means somebody's coming out of a state where they're always arguing and fighting. All right, and uh, this is hopes for love in this situation. This whole thing is, to, to me, I'm feeling like somebody... Uh, Maybe you, Pisces, is hoping somebody tell you not to leave. Or some your partner might be telling you that they, I mean, well, maybe wanting you to tell them not to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This right here just makes me feel like somebody is ready to fight for this relationship. Somebody is ready to uh, stop, like, everything to be there. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay, so this is uh <laughs> this is looking like a true love story here. Um somebody is ready to fight for their love, but they're waiting for somebody to tell them to uh not go. I don't know why this seemed like some movie stuff to me. Uh I don't know, just looking at this car is like somebody finally found somebody to uh heal their heart to make them feel good about themselves and make them feel good about what's going on. And they, like, coming out of heartbreaking and they found somebody that they can love. And now they got to leave for some reason. Maybe they got to leave a neighborhood. Maybe they got to leave a job. Maybe they just got to leave the state for another job. But it's like something's trying to tear these people apart. Okay. Got some stalkers. I think somebody X. Somebody X is stalking around trying to mess up stuff. So this could be your ex or this could be the, um... Wow, yeah, the the person you're dealing with, ex, okay. I don't know why. I'm just feeling like. I mean, I guess it could be a, a a fire sign. Possibly, okay. It could be anything because this is a general reading. So let me read these out the book. So we got the five of stabs. Five of stabs. Oh man, it just like got hot all of a sudden. <laughs> like it's like 50 degrees outside I'm on fire in here alright so five of staffs reversed and it says complicated disputes verbal and legal deception and insecurities and oh sorry inaccuracies so I don't know maybe somebody is <laughs> I don't know why but jail. Somebody could be going to jail. Somebody just could be a part of, uh, like some kind of government agency where they're they are moved to certain places, like some kind of military. Somebody could just be working for the government, but somebody finally found a volunteering. Okay, yeah. So somebody finally found somebody that they like and love, and they gotta leave for this thing that they didn't signed up for, and then they don't want to go. They don't want to go. They they got They want ready to do whatever they need to do to stay here and be with this person. All right. So we got the eight of cups here, and the eight of cups is uh, it may be time to move on and start new plans. Do not let your pride stop you from making a change. So I'm feeling like somebody is torn between work and this relationship. They like okay, well. Uh, one thing is uh, one thing is going to be lost and that's just it and somebody's ready to make that choice okay no nope, they're not ready not ready to make that choice <laughs> they're getting ready to have to make that choice all right so we have the seven of staffs and that is upright it says 
Uh, keep your strengths and beliefs, even though others challenge you. You are right. Even though you may be outnumbered, you will win. So this is basically all these people talking crap about you. Like, don't do it. Don't go back. It's not going to work anyway. They don't know what they're talking about. This card right here and this spread is saying that you are going to win. And you're going to get the love that you um looking for if you choose the love over the job. So it's up to you. Do you want the money or do you want the love? Okay. All right. So the lover's card. And that says... A new romance, sometimes a choice between lovers. Um, a time of des um, desire and romance or thinking of a current romance. Marriage, sometimes the memory of old lovers. So basically somebody is just all wrapped up in love and emotion right now. Oh, uh, that's what I heard. That's the only thing that came out. So we have the swords. Sword, 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 sword. All right, well, we got the three of swords reversed. And it says, emotional denial, lack of focus or direction, and harsh, harsh self-criticism. Um, a card of uh, sadness, hurt feelings, a sense of loss or missing, unanswered questions, abrupt separation. So it's like no matter what, you're going to lose something here. Um, but it's like... Love or money. But that's all I got for you guys. Make sure to check your Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. If you're on a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Um, everybody, uh, if you can't donate to somewhere and for the um, people affected by the hurricanes, um, just make sure you pray for them because those people need a lot of stuff out there, you know. So let's try to do what we can, you know. But that's all I have. And you guys have a wonderful week.